Hi, my name's Judd. Welcome to Info Night. I'm one of the course advisors here at SAE and I'll be running you through applications and enrolments. If you have any questions, just feel free to pop them in the Q&A box down the bottom of this webinar screen and we'll answer as many as we can and we'll try and answer some live tonight as well. In Australia, SAE, we have six campuses in Brisbane, Byron, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth. Our 2021 intake dates are 8th of February, 31st of May and the 20th of September. Our entry requirements are completion of senior secondary school certificate or equivalent, as well as successfully completing a phone or face-to-face -face interview. We all do also, however, have experience-based entry and SAE will review applications on a case-by-case -case basis. For more information on experience-based entry, please speak with one of our course advisors. How to apply directly. So to, in order to apply with SAE, you will need to contact one of our course advisors, either inquire or apply on our website, call 1800 72 or book a tour or a course consultation. Upon successful completion of your interview, over the phone or face-to-face, -face, you'll receive a conditional letter of offer. You can also apply via your state's admission centres. So in New South Wales, Queensland and Victoria, high school leavers can apply through their state and territory's admission centres. SAE is also proud to announce that we have some study grants available. Grants will be awarded to outstanding applicants for students who apply to study for a bachelor's degree at SAE Brisbane, SAE Sydney, SAE Perth and SAE Melbourne, commencing in February. You can apply via our websites and submissions close Friday 15th of January 2021. Now let's open it up to some questions. So we have a question coming in. Are we able to customise our timetables? Uh, e.g. choose what days we do subjects. So our timetables are generally set and these can be changed depending on availabilities of class. Generally speaking, this will be related to your full-time or part-time study load, but during your interview, we'll be able to discuss all these options with you. Another question just coming in, uh, what happens during O-Week? So our orientation week, this is commences usually a week before our intake, and during this time you'll get to know the campus, meet your lecturers, as well as gain all your logins and all that sort of admin stuff. During this period as well, if you have any sort of questions about timetables, uh, you'll be able to chat to our student services and they'll be able to assist. Uh, is there an online study option or is it face-to-face -face learning? So uh, SAE has a blended learning model, which means that you can attend your classes remotely via Zoom or you can attend in, on campus as well. We also have the option for you to be able to come in and use the campus facilities whenever you need as well. Uh, can you please outline payment options? Okay, cool. So our payment options, we have different types. So we have different types of payment plans available and our higher education courses are also accredited through Fee Help as well. For information on Fee Help, feel free to contact one of our advisors and I'll be able to run you through this. All right, we've got another one coming in now. Um, are students supplied with laptops? Uh, not at the moment. We do have a equipment available on campus, so great computer labs and those sort of things. We focus on quite a hands-on way of learning, so all equipment will be provided, so be it cameras, be it recording equipment, and that's all available to get from the campus as well. Can you receive a grant to study at Byron Bay? So our Byron, unfortunately we don't have study grants available at Byron Bay, but we do have Destination Australia scholarships available. Feel free to contact um, one of our advisors on 1800 72 888 to discuss these. How often would you be able to attend during a bachelor's degree of film? So generally speaking, if you're studying a full-time workload, you'd be looking at committing around 12 hours of face-to-face -face class a week, but would recommend committing about 30 to 36 hours in total. This is due to the project-based way that we teach, so you'd be wanting to commence as much time and commit as much time to utilising the equipment and working on your content. Do you generally accept people straight from high school or do you prefer people to, to be older with experience? We accept both. So what we're looking for in our interviews is we're looking for passion, creativity and drive. 
Um, we have a range of different types of people that come here from a range of different sorts of age groups. Does SAE accept eight year of educational gap after secondary? So if you've completed year 12 or equivalent or a Cert 4, uh, we will consider that. With our experience-based entry pathway as well, this is reviewed on a case-by-case -case basis. So the best thing to do with these sort of options is to contact your advisor and they'll be able to figure out the best course of route for you. Why can't you apply for study grants in Melbourne? I can only seem to choose Sydney, Brisbane or Perth. Um, unfortunately, I'm not too sure at the, this point in time. I can look into that, but if you have any questions, feel free to contact the course advisor. At the moment in Melbourne, uh, we do offer our study grants for design only. What is the average amount of hours you would be attending if you were doing a part-time degree? So a full-time study load would be the equivalent of four units a trimester, which is around 12 hours of class a week. Now, when you're looking at doing a part-time study load, you simply choose three or two units. This will reduce the time for that you'd need to commit. But again, the general rule of thumb is for each three hours of class, you're going to want to commit about six hours worth of work as well. Uh, appli uh, applications required to include a face-to-face -face meeting before enrolment. No, face-to-face -face meeting is not compulsory. It is highly recommended that you come in and check out the campus as we have amazing facilities and it gives you a chance to get to know us as well. What courses do we need a portfolio for? So in regards to portfolios, we do request um, ex examples of musical practice from uh, our music production program. When does the work placement period usually start in the bachelor's course? Uh, so the work placement is usually held in your last two trimesters uh, during your capstone study. I finished secondary school with a VCAL certificate. Is it still possible for me to enrol into a course? Absolutely. As mentioned earlier, we have different pathways. So get in touch with us and we can have a bit of a chat and figure out the best pathway for you. Can we call the advisors anytime over the week? Our advisors are available Monday to Fridays at nine to five and on and same as on the east coast and west coast. Should previous projects be included in applications? Previous projects are great to talk about. It gives us a chance to explore what your strengths are and help narrow down what it is you're looking for. If applying for grants or um, future scholarships, including a, um, a project or a portfolio is definitely beneficial. Is it possible to change payment method to fee help even after the enrolment form has already been sent? Absolutely. Uh, just get in contact with us and we can sort that out for you. For a Bachelor of Film, do we need any previous experience or to have a camera of our own? No previous hands-on experience is required. What we're looking for, again, is people who are wanting to learn. In regards to equipment, we have it all available for you to um, take from campus and you can get these from our tech store. Do I have to do a portfolio for music production course? So a portfolio, a full portfolio for music production is not necessary, but examples of musical practice is. So this could be a track you've worked on, this could be a recording, this could be some footage of you performing. Music production, we're going to teach you how to produce music, not how to, not how to play an instrument. How long do courses go for, e.g. Uh, sound engineering animation? Awesome. So with our, uh, with our courses, a diploma goes for a full-time workload will go for seven months and a bachelor's degree will go for two years. Is there a minimum ATAR requirement for audio music production course? No, there's no minimum ATAR. We do, however, conduct an interview with all of our applicants. Is there an event where we can come and check out SAE in person or is this something we should call up and arrange personally? If you're wanting to come and check out SAE, feel free to get, get in touch with us. You can book a virtual or a face-to-face -to -face tour on our website. The great thing with coming in um, on your own is you'll get to have some one-on-one -on -one time with one of our advisors. Is there a three-day workshop in Melbourne? Yes, this will be commencing in January. Is there an opportunity to study a trimester at an overseas campus? If so, are there certain requirements? 
In normal times, yes, we do have um, international options available, and this is usually during your third or fourth trimester. Um, in order to arrange this, um, you simply contact your campus, and this is arranged through your student services. How many days a week am I required to come to campus when studying a diploma? Because we teach blended learning, uh, you can attend your classes remotely or in person. It gives you the flexibility to learn how you would prefer. In regards to coming into campus, you should probably aim to come in as much as possible because we do have amazing facilities. Thank you for attending our virtual info tonight. If you have any questions at all, uh, please feel free to join the live chat on the main website or for more information, please call 1800 72 3388.